Hi guys, my name is Mina, welcome back. This is the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel and on this channel we do art stuff. So today I am doing the voiceover <laughs> for my um, Paint With Me with Roman Schmall watercolour video following my Roman Schmall palette setup video which you should have seen prior to this one coming out. I've been filming things in and out of sequence so um, excuse me if I get things a bit muddled up in my head um, but the video today what we are doing is I ended up doing two different paintings with these Roman Schmall watercolors um, this first one as you can probably tell is going to become a galaxy style painting I started out I'm trying to remember the colors that I used for this one I started out using cobalt um, teal blue or cobalt sea blue I can't remember what Roman Schmall call it now and um, and then a bit of their deep green gold, I believe it was called, and indigo for around the outside of the um, of the galaxy around the edges. I also used some Payne's grey as well, and I think I also added in a tiny bit of shadow violet as well at some point in there. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much see what I'm doing. I wet the whole page first. One thing that I find is a really quick way of wetting down the page is if you have a spray bottle, just give it a few spritzes over the page and then use your paintbrush to spread the water around and make sure you have a nice even coverage. So uh, whilst the painting is still wet, I went in with a bit of white ink. This is Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White. You can also use white gouache. This is just the one I had on hand at the time, so I grabbed what was nearest. And um, I'm adding in some white into the wet paint and blending it in. So it's um, kind of gone a bit more murky and gives that sort of um, galaxy vibe. And then I just splattered on a bit of water to create some texture. Now the watercolour paper in this sketchbook is, um, I have figured out because I bought the sketchbook on AliExpress, but um, this is a larger size than the version I've purchased previously. And um, this one, a lot of the pages has have watermarks on them, so I could tell what the paper was. And it turns out the paper in this sketchbook is Fabriano 5, which is their 50% cotton watercolour paper. And I have to say, it's it's a great watercolour paper, and in the sketchbook it works beautifully. Um, and it's the full 300 GSM watercolour paper, which is not super common in a sketchbook. So I will definitely have this sketchbook linked below. I've been enjoying using it over the last couple of months. And uh, yeah, so the galaxy painting was pretty much done. I was waiting at this point for the painting to dry or mostly dry before I added on the stars and the final details. So I thought, hey, whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, let's just do a loose floral painting on the opposite page. There was no real thought behind this one, no real um, composition or idea. It was just a bit of fun and splashing some paint around to make it look like flowers and leaves, essentially. Um, I'm trying to remember what colours I used here. I think for the green, I did a mix of Aquarius green, ocean blue, and some um, shadow violet, I think, or was it uh, Presbyus grey? I can't remember which one. <laughs> uh, but one of those uh, darker purples to kind of mute it down. And then I added a bit of the rich green gold to uh, lighten up the green to create these smaller little sprigs. And for the for the flowers, I think I used a mix of pyrrole rubine and um, oh, what was it cherry quinacridone red? Those were the colours. I'm trying to remember what colours I used now <laughs> in hindsight. Um, and I think at this point I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do, and I decided to add some little blooms to the ends of those sprigs like I said it wasn't super well thought out and the composition could have been much better then I think I'd go ahead and add in some yellow for the centers of those larger larger flowers and and yeah okay so um I think I was still waiting for the galaxy to dry but the florals had mostly dried by this point I uh, decided to do some loose outlining around the blooms and then around some of the leaves as well and I kind of really like this loose uh, sort of sketchy um, outline effect 
um, with this one. It just, I don't know, it adds another dimension. It adds a bit more interest, I guess. And I didn't, you know, it wasn't anything super complicated. It's not a super amazing painting or anything by any stretch, but it was a fun sketchbook piece. It was, it was quick and it sort of satisfied that craving to get some paint on paper and create something and have fun. And then I'm just adding in a few extra leaves here and there. And as you can probably tell from the lighting, this was filmed in the evening. I don't normally film at night, but um, I sort of jerry-rigged a little light setup so I could <laughs> film this and hopefully it's not too bad. I will probably not do this again. I will probably try and keep my filming to during daylight hours where I have natural light. But I think for this, it's actually not too bad. Um, and there you've seen me, I just took a smaller paintbrush and some of the white ink and splattered it across the page. And now I'm just adding in a few sort of star details just to finish off the painting. There again, nothing super special, just having some fun in my sketchbook. And that's really, that's really all I felt like at that point, that point on that particular day. Um, and then I realised a bunch of paint had got under that clip, so I used a towel, a little tea towel, to dab up the extra paint before I take off the masking tape around the galaxy. All right, so I'll show the painting up close, or both paintings up close, in just a second once I peel off all the tape. I have to say, peeling off the tape is one of the most satisfying parts of finishing a painting. Um, and this, this sketchbook actually handles masking tape or washi tape pretty well. I've not had any real issues with it tearing the paper. So that's also really good to know for anyone who's interested. Um, and the paper dries pretty flat. It doesn't buckle too much. Um, it buckles a little bit when it's wet, which is fairly normal for a watercolour paper. And here I'm just stamping the date onto the pages. I'm trying to get better at remembering to stamp my, my paintings or date my paintings and having this stamp is fairly helpful. Um, I still date them by hand on like more finished pieces, but in my sketchbook I'll use the little stamp. And that's those ones. And then I also did another little doodle in the same sketchbook using the Roma Schmall paints. So... Um, I went with a bit more of a colour palette this time. So the colours I ended up using in this one were a mix of cherry quinacridone red, mineral violet, um, misty morning, cobalt teal blue, um, ocean blue, a lot of similar colours, <laughs> um, perylene vi violet, um, aquarius grey. I think that was, I think those were all the ones that I used in this one. And um, and yeah, I'm going to set the rest of this to music. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining. If you haven't subscribed already, please um, consider doing that if you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to see more. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, take care. Bye.